All right, welcome back to another episode of Onshape, and we're going to learn how to use the parallel plane or offset plane feature. Uh, this is especially useful when you need to make something that attaches to or goes through a curved surface or any surface in which you wouldn't normally be able to draw a sketch on. Okay, so we're going to show you how to make uh, a hole here in the top of this. Uh, conversely, you could also, I'll show you how to make a pin coming out of it, straight out of the part. Okay, so uh, to make a hole, what we need is we need a plane up here on the top. But you notice, if I start a sketch, I can't select the top of this. I need a flat surface. I could select the front, but that's not helpful. I want a hole going down in the top. So what I need is a sketch plane that's positioned right tangent to the top of this. So in order to do that, I need to know how far it is from the center up to the top up here. So what I can do is I can measure, click on the center of my circle, and click up here. Uh, and that distance is uh, 1.5 uh, because that is a uh, three inch uh, diameter circle. OK, so let's keep in mind 1.5. Uh, the other way you could have found it is just going back here to sketch one. And you see, oh, yeah, that diameter is three. So the distance from here to the edge, which is half, is 1.5. OK, so let's remember that, 1.5. So we're going to select the plane tool right here. We're not in, we're outside, we're not in any sketch. Select the plane tool and select the plane that you want to be parallel to. So the plane that I want is lying flat across the top. It's parallel to the top plane. Okay. And then notice it's saying offset. Okay. So I want it to be offset. We said 1.5 inches. So let's change that. Notice it's going up. That's how. That's the direction we want. We want it to be above. And boom. OK. And so now notice, if we look at this, notice now we've got a plane right across the top that is parallel to the top plane. OK. So you should see that. So now I can draw a sketch on that plane. So now I'm going to get a sketch right here on plane one. And let's press N to look normal to it. And I want to place a point that's right here so I can make a hole. So boom, place a little point and finish. And hole. And select that hole. And I'm going to make it oh, 0.5, make it half an inch. OK. And I don't want it to go all the way through my part. Notice it's going, if I turn this, so if I turn my part, I don't want it to go all the way through. I just want it to go through the top. So I'm going to do um, uh, I'm just going to do blind. And I want the depth uh, to go. Now I made the offset there. Um, it was a quarter inch, I believe. So I'm going to make this 0.25, the depth of that hole, and start from the sketch plane. Okay. Okay. Oh, maybe it needs to be a little bit more. So. Let's do point 0.3. There we go. That gets us all the way through. And that's fine. OK. So there's our hole. OK. Say I wanted to do a spoke instead, sticking out of it. OK. I'm going to do one on the right side. So that means, I'm gonna, and I'm going to hide this plane, because that's getting confusing. I want a plane on the right. That's going to be parallel to the right side, and it should be the same distance, 1.5. So I'm going to select plane, right, and I want it to go that way, 1.5. Boom. There we go. 
So now I've got a plane on the edge. If I look at the front, you can see I've got my plane there that's going right to the edge. So I'm going to start a sketch on plane two. And I'm going to draw a little circle, center point circle right here. Because now I don't want to make a hole. I just want to make a circle. And that will make it 0.5. And finish that. OK, and now if I look, I've got a circle that's floating out here. And I can extrude that. Okay, but it's not attached to anything. Okay, I want it to go the other way. Okay, so now it's kind of going through. I don't want it to go all the way through. I just want it to go up to next. So now it's going to go that way. And then I'm going to do a second end position the other way, sticking out. Yeah, say an inch. Boom. And it's going to merge with part one. And boom. See, now I've got a little rod sticking out of it, or a little pin. And if I wanted, I could circular pattern that two more times. So I can add that circular pattern. OK, I want a pattern feature, not pattern part. So change that up here. And I want extrude 2. OK, so that includes everything I would extrude. And I need to select my axis of pattern. And I'm just going to select that. And I don't want to do 4. Uh, I just want, and I only want it to, let's see, 180 degrees. And I want 3. OK, so it's going to go that way. I want it to go the other way. Boom. OK, and there we go. So you can play around. So see, now I've got a rod coming out. I could have done it all the way around instead of the hole. OK, so that's how you do a um, on a curved surface. All right, now, what if I wanted a pin coming straight out of the side? Well, if I do a sketch here, it's going to be coming out diagonal. So that's not what I want. I want a pin that's pointing straight to the right. So I'm going to do a parallel plane. And this distance is 2. So I'm going to do plane, and I want it parallel to this back side of the triangle. But I want it to go the other way. And notice right now it's trying to make a plane in the center of my part. I want it to be all the way at the end, so 2 inches. Zoom. OK. So now I can start a sketch on that new plane. And I want to look perpendicular to that. And now I'm going to put a circle here. Oh, let's make it 0.5. OK. All right. And I can make another one right there, also 0.5. OK. All right. So now I've got this circle, and I want it to stick straight out of that right side. So now I'm going to select Extrude, select both of these. And I want them to go all the way until they touch the surface. So I'm going to just do Up to Next. Boom. And voila. Now I've got pins coming straight out of that, I, just like that. Okay. All right. That is it.